Hello and welcome to Daily Politics, reaching you from Trust TV here in Abuja. On this program, we discuss issues around politics, policy, and governance. I am Suleiman Suleiman. Tonight, we are discussing the purported move to draft the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Godwin Imefile, into the presidential race in the 2023 elections. Imefile was first appointed in 2014 as CBN Governor by former President Goodluck Jonathan. That was under the People's Democratic Party. But President Buhari reappointed him again for a second term in 2019. It's been a long time since anyone served a second term as CBN governor. His time is now due to end in 2024. However, no one knows if MFLA belongs to any political party. In fact, he doesn't. But does plotting to draft him into full-time politics are rumored to be very close to President Buhari in the APC. So tonight we're asking, is this presidential bid for real? Or is this just another instance of flying the kite by political merchants? And if yes, what are the implications for the race to Asorok in 2023? I have with me Chief Robert Usman Audu, OON, who is a former permanent secretary, political affairs in the presidency. And Mr. Sunday Michael Ogu, who is deputy business editor, Daily Trust, and also a public affairs analyst. Welcome to Daily Politics, uh, gentlemen. Thank you, it's my well. pleasure. Welcome. Yeah. It's my pleasure. Yeah. But before we delve into the discussion proper, we'll take a moment's break, and then when we come back, we'll be right into it. Stay with us. Welcome back. This is Daily Politics on Trust TV, and we're having a discussion about the expanding field of presidential race in the 2023 elections. And this time, it's about whether or not, and what it means, the CBN governor joining the race, throwing his hat into the ring as well. Mr. Robert Aoudi, you, you, you've seen this before again and again and again and again mm. several times you know as your job uh, description uh, uh, says now you have in the apc uh, several uh, candidates already at least those who have uh, declared their aspirations their intentions to run for the office you have chief uh, bola tinubu you have uh, Dave, governor dev umahi and then also you have uh, uh, senator Rachel okorocha and people like uh, 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 Senator Uzo Kalu as well. And, well, the undeclared but pressured or much rumored uh, uh, aspiration of uh, Vice President uh, Yomi Osimbajo. So if we have uh, Godwin Emefele, the CBN governor, into the race, how does it change the game? How does it, what does it mean within this slate of uh, aspirants in the APC? Well, when we spoke yes. in, the, in the afternoon, mm. and you told me about this program, mm. my mind went straight to my former boss, the Ali Ahmed, okay. former head of civil service. Yes. Mm. <coughs> I was addressing civil service mm. after there was a decision of government that civil servants were not uh, banned from participating in politics. Mm. And he said, he gave his candid advice to civil service. He mm. said, look, if you want to be believed and trusted, you should make a choice. Between serving mm. as a civil servant mm. or going to voter politics. Mm. They all declared, like a mafia. Mm. And even uh, Jonathan, 
former president. Mm. I will classify him among the undeclared. Yes. Mm. There are certain positions you occupy. Mm. But uh, you have uh, a big burden mm. to discharge. Mm. If you go into certain areas like politics, mm. For the past few days, you need to talk to people mm. in the hush of students, they are saying, Godwin Emmanuel, Governor of Central Bank, mm. has he had access to so much government money mm. that he wants to go and contest the election? Mm. That's the kind of thing you hear. Mm. So if you are in that kind of position, but nothing precludes him from Participating in politics. Okay. Mm. But just like I would say, mm. you have to examine yourself based on the position you are. But he, he is not an everyday civil servant in the yeah, sense in which you are a career civil servant. Why, right? why, why is anybody speaking for him? Okay. Mm. Say, Nigeria, mm. I'll be more comfortable talking about him if he comes out to police and say, I want to participate. Mm. You know, I've made comments about the former president, Jonathan. Mm. I said, whoever is drafting him is making a mistake mm. because he has been sworn in twice okay. as president. Mm. No matter what the people in the judiciary may say, mm. Jonathan has been sworn in as president twice. Mm. His one year as president after the death of Yadwa yeah. marked his first term. Mm. I can stress it, I'm not a lawyer. Mm. And he won a election again in 2011, that was his second day. Mm. So I don't know why anybody would want such a person to come back. We, we will certainly have an opportunity to talk about, because that's also an interesting uh, political issue that over time we will discuss. But yeah. uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Sunday Michael, you know, this undeclared presidencies, because until recently, even Chief Tunibu himself was undeclared, you know, <laughs> and then he now uh, declared. Yeah, this usually not too far from the truth, going by uh, experience in Nigerian politics. Sure. You know? People would say that they are not uh, interested, they are focused on their job, and, 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 and so on. What do you think is likely to happen? Is these people that are trying to push uh, MFLA into the race, are they just joking or there must be some signals that, uh, 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 that they're, they're, they're serious? Um, to be honest, from, from the things we have seen, mm -hmm. clearly they are serious. If they have taken up pages mm -hmm. um, in national newspapers, mm -hmm. you know, to, to make this intent open, mm -hmm. and then we cannot, in fairness, categorize them as mm -hmm. jokers. Yes. Um, and we are seeing something that keeps with the tradition of the Nigerian politics, like you mm. rightly mentioned, mm. especially um, when you are currently serving in an office mm. and it is perceived that your ambitions may clash with the responsibility of the current office. Mm. And then you begin to see the deployment of this kind of tactics where it then would appear like a set of people want you mm. uh, and, and they use all kinds of means to say, we are urging you to throw yourself mm. uh, in the race. Um, while all of this is happening, a lot of um, uh, political gymnastics are taking place behind the scene to really mm. understand whether that candidature, whether your interest would resonate with several stakeholders group. Yes. And until you can ascertain how much of this stakeholder group are behind you, mm. it will be dangerous for you to come out in the open. Mm. And, what, what, and what sort of st stakeholders would someone like the CBN governor need to be behind him, you know, to borrow from your own so, words? Uh, yeah. There's, there's a serious conversation around the zoning of the presidency. Okay. Uh, there's, there's a contention mm. uh, about whether or not we should jettison in the idea mm. of uh, zoning or we basically would allow it go to the south since mm. the current occupant comes from, from the northern part of the country. Mm. If that argument continues to hold sway mm. and at some point members of the party become you know, morally assuaged by the arguments of people that since it has been here for a while it should go the other way, then it narrows it, the, 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 the players in the mm. ring and excludes some other persons that we are seeing, mm. some of the undeclared candidates. Yes. And at that point, it will then become the argument of 
uh, uh, the, I mean, the calculations will change from what it is now mm. uh, to something entirely different. Mm. And this, this, these calculations also include some of the, the signals that we have seen from the polity, you know, two former presidents, mm. you know, indicating that it would be nice to have somebody of a certain age category. Mm. It will also be nice to have people with some, a fair understanding of how the economy works mm. because of the urgency to move the Nigerian economy from where it is right mm, now mm. to where we all uh, want, it, want to. it to be, mm. you know, and some of these signals mm. seem to align with, with mm. the purported um, ambition, uh, ambition of, of, okay. of MFL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very interesting. But, 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 uh, thank you, but, 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 Pamsek. The, 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 you have this situation where very high caliber candidates, you know, many of them new faces, at least in the presidential race, you know, um, <clears throat> The, the, that are coming out, you know, uh, people like the CBN governor that we're talking about, but also old ones like Elijah Atiku Abakar, people like uh, undeclared like uh, Tambual, mm -hmm. you know, uh, undeclared or declared like Rochas Okorochans. Mm -hmm. With this slate of candidates or aspirants, let's say, and also people like the, uh, uh, former President Jonathan that you mentioned, and also, uh, you may, should we say, should we still be talking about zoning at all, given this? mix of candidates from all parts of the country? It's very interesting. The issue of Zoji mm. is German to our kind of politics. Okay. Even at the lowest level mm. of representation, even at the councillor level, our people are used to identify any peculiar dichotomy mm. that can be used as a basis of rotating. Mm council seats. So, in the Nigerian experience, I'm an advocate of zoning. Mm. There are countries around the world that have done this. Okay. It has helped them. Mm. Mexico, mm. for example. Mm. Switzerland. Mm. The, it, the Germans, the Italians, and the French mm. have an arrangement. So, if we want peace mm. in Nigeria, we should embrace zoning. Mm. I have written quite a bit on zoning. Okay. Mm. Interesting. One of my major um, write-ups on zoning was published in Guardian newspaper mm. on the 9th of uh, June, okay. 2010. Okay. And I used the, the six geopolitical zones. Mm. One of the greatest contributions of the late Yana uh, Sani Abacha. Okay. You see, if we adopt the six geopolitical zones mm. as the basis for rotating power, mm. he came in with the idea to create access to every zone to the president. Mm. So if, 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 if we, 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 we take off from there, yeah. from this zoning point of view, this zoning perspective, yeah. given, never mind that some people may be opposed to zoning and they have their right to be opposed to of zoning course. as well, which is fine. But if we were to talk about the zoning, if zoning were to hold, yeah. either within the PDP or, or APC, mm -hmm. how would it work for or against the CBN governor? Supposing he were to become more from for him. undeclared to declared. Yes. Beautiful. Mm. You can work for him. Yes. If the zoning favors his geopolitical zone. Mm. And as usual, politicians will say, my people have asked me to come and represent them. Mm. So if there is a loud voice mm. from his people mm. calling on him, fine. But the zoning is, you see, the zoning is embedded in our constitution in a subtle manner. Okay. Federal character is the form of zoning. Mm. Okay. And um, although uh, it is not in the constitution for now, mm. but what we need to do is to put it in the constitution. Mm. You see, in the paper I did, mm. which I presented to the Senate Committee on the uh, Review of the Constitution, mm. House of Reps Committee, mm. all members of the National Assembly have copies of this. Okay. Mm. And then uh, it happened, it appears that PDP as a party mm. have been following it. Mm. And um, 
Of the three Jopol Gudons in the south and three in the north, mm. <coughs> I used the length of tenure each zone I enjoyed previously at the presidency, mm. either under the military or the democratic government, mm. as coefficient. Mm. And if you look at how it started in 1999, okay. at the time we say the beginning. Of Zuni. Mm -hmm. Southwest okay. took the first shot with General Bassanger. Mm -hmm. And um, after it went to it went to the north. And northwest. Northwest specifically, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Took it. The late uh, Yaradua. Yes. When Yaradua died, it was an act of God. Mm -hmm. Should have taken it as an act of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the zoning would have continued. Mm. But even with that attempt at what they call the um, doctrine of necessity, which was very unnecessary, mm. constitution was superior. Okay. Mm. And because the constitution was superior, mm. the vice president, Jonathan, mm. took over as president. From south south. From south south. Mm. And now, what I, what I call among my friends as evil conspiracy. Okay. Played out. Okay. When many people from the South the, most, the rotation that had moved from Southwest to Northwest mm. came to the South and South South had five years at it. Mm. Was supposed to go to the North and by that rotation that I worked out mm. Northeast was the next. Okay. Because in terms of uh, length of tenure enjoyed previously, mm. by the last government of six years, mm. Apache has So you mean a, 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 not west, um, I mean a president north from the Northeast will follow a president from the Northwest? Because no, Buhari no, is no, not no, no, Northwest. No. After Jonathan South South. Okay, okay. Good. So no. I have to go back to the North. Northeast. And Northeast will have to give it to Okay. Mm. But that conspiracy that saw mm. President Buhari mm. from Northwest. Mm. As president again. And from a different party. Distorted. The party doesn't matter. Okay. Mm. Because if it is zoned to a particular area, mm. then all parties will source their candidates from there. From there, okay. Mm. General Buhari, and that is a mistake commonly made by the South. Mm. Always think that the North, big North, is one. Mm. And it's not true. Mm. There are three geopolitical so, zones in the south, let three me, in the north. Mm, let me, so, uh, so the, 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 the CBN governor himself, yes. you know, he's south, south. So, going from this discussion, he has many different attributes that complicate the whole picture. First of all, he's not a politician himself. He doesn't belong to any party, at least to the extent that is publicly known. No, yeah. you, know, uh, to, uh, you know, but... He has served under both parties. He served uh, uh, under the PDP, you know, 2014. To, you know, and then now uh, he is serving. He served longer under APC, but he served under uh, both parties. So, how does this situation? But also, in addition to this, he is from the South South, and also Ibo Delta. So, how does this situate him? Does it mean an Igbo presidency by a proxy or <laughs> an independent presidency? Or what, what, what does it really mean? How does all these attributes complicate his candidacy? I think what you call complication is what endows him to these other persons who are pushing him out. Mm. Um, his unique attribute, as it were, mm. you know, sort of appeal to different people in different ways. Mm. Um, and the whole idea about his candidature, you know, sprang up mm. because of the agitation from that part of the world mm. about the need to be considered and, in fact, if you like, exclusively zoned mm. to that part of the world. Uh, but since it's a party affair and in, uh, people who are from the other zone would also have a say as mm. to where this happens, mm. they are also looking at the entire, the entire okay. picture mm. uh, in view of the whole talk around zoning mm -hmm. and so it's not enough for you to take it to a part of the country where they think they do not have 
the kind of candidates mm. that would be competition for whatever they are going to face in the election. So mm. they have to also weigh their options. Mm. If we have to take it here, what sort of candidates are we looking at? Mm. Are they within the structures we have or we have to source them from somewhere outside the structure? Mm. And if you look at the person of the PCB and governor, for the first time in a long while, mm. quite a number of things seems to be working for him. Okay. Uh, for so many of us, we see him as a CBN mm. governor, and in that light, we think he's mm. just a specialist in monetary issues. Mm. But for the farmer, he has been far more visible than a minister of agriculture, for instance. Okay. Mm. Um, within the government cycles, mm. he has pioneered certain things that have helped build this mm. government out I, of I, Are you saying that he's also been in politics while being in office? Well, we have seen him deploy political tools, okay. you know, to mm. serve the need of this government when the need arises. Mm. You would recall uh, when they were entangled with the PID mm. issue. It was something that, 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 that um, uh, almost brought this country to its knee. To mm. have raised, at a time we were looking for forests, to, ad to have raised $200 mm. billion dollars as demanded by a British court would have been, mm. would have been scandalous. Uh, the whole initiative around how we got out of that web mm. was coordinated from this office. And I think this regular interaction mm. with the fiscal guys, with mm. uh, the people from the presidency, sort of sold the idea to them that mm. he's not just such a banker, but somebody who could mix a bit of banking, mm. uh, perhaps, and, and, and politics. And politics mm. together. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you. But, 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 the thing is, uh, but, 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 um, uh, uh, Mr. Audu, sir. We have this situation now where you have an outsider, at least politically speaking. He is not a member of a party. And the Nigerian constitution insists that to become a president, you have to be a member of a political a party. party. You know, and, and, and not just that, but also you have to win you know, an election, the primary election, you have to have been nominated, duly nominated by law within that political party. But he's an outsider. And those people who have already declared their interest and those who have interest that have not yet declared, all of them are within the, 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 the party, within the APC, uh, for example. Let's go with APC first. We can consider even the PDP <laughs> later. So what, what do you think are his chances within this party? Well, as an outsider. I want to mm. take you Looking back. in. Take you back again to what I said earlier. Mm. It is better um it may be other than himself mm. makes a pronouncement. Okay. Rather than people mm. speculating mm. for him. But the speculations about just a few months ago, people were speculating about Tinubu. Those speculations have turned out to be true. Mm. Well, Tinubu so, himself has come out to say he wanted to go to He has come out to say so right now. So I would be more comfortable if uh, a movie mm. comes out. Okay. Otherwise, mm. uh, are we assuming that because he's now serving uh, an APC government, mm. was appointed by a PDP government, mm. and that he is going to be APC? Mm. And uh, let me say this. The zoning that I have advocated mm. and have distributed our papers extensively mm. will have no space for somebody from South from South South this okay. time around. Mm. So that, that See, let us not be, let us not pretend okay. mm. that um, there is a merit system in this country that will identify mm. Gordon Mafia is a very intelligent human being. Okay. Very, very intelligent. Mm. And it comes from a family mm. that has many intelligent people. Okay. One of the members served mm. under me as an assistant director. Interesting. Very intelligent. I mean. And of course, um, my wife was asking me as I was coming in here, is it, is it because of the, the rice pyramid <laughs> on the airport road? Mm. They see that as a major contribution. We, we, we certainly talk about the rice, uh, rice pyramid because <laughs> he, he, we, we, when people serve in office and they seek another office, they point first to their achievements in their yeah. previous office. This mm -hmm. is universal, you know, and, and so we will <clears throat> be talking about that. But uh, uh, first of all, we, maybe we, we look at the fact that when these groups, they met with him in, you know, the people, the concerned friends of Godwin Imefele. When they met with him, 
He said his present interest is to continue with his job, mm -hmm. to continue with the economic recovery mm -hmm. of the president, and blah, 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 blah. We, in, in journalists and, uh, like yourself and me, we know that when a politician, what a politician says is one thing, but what his body language says may mm -hmm. be another thing. Based on your uh, uh, understanding, especially as someone who covers that area uh, in general, mm -hmm. what are the feelers that you have that even the man himself, not just the people pursuing him, even the man himself may in fact be interested? I think, to be honest, um, you would come from a different planet to be offered the slightest idea, mm -hmm. the slightest chance of um, of governing this country mm. and you would want to throw it away or not give it a serious thought. Mm. With uh, all the troubles in the country? Well, <laughs> yes, indeed, with all the troubles. Okay. I mean, the, the, mm. the amount of leverage at your disposal, mm. it's, it's unfathomable. Mm. And he has operated in one such privileged position, mm. the central bank governor, mm. you know, who sits atop mm. every monetary decision in this country, mm. yeah. you know, who sits, who oversees the inflow and outflow of money. He's mm. about one of the most influential person when you talk about the economy as, as far as the country is concerned. Mm. So he has seen how much mm. um, leverage mm. he has in the current position and how much more perhaps mm. he would be able to do um, should he you know, somehow find himself in that position. So mm. I, I think the attractions of the office can get anybody mm. um, uh, interested in, 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 in this kind of proposition. Mm. What about this person, rather than anybody? Yeah, for a number of reasons. Mm. If I would begin to tag along with the logic of my father here, yes, um, and, and you begin to look at the number of things we have tried as a country that has no work. Mm. The tendency is to say, we have tried all of this, why not try this? Mm. Uh, from 1999 till date, for a young man like me, it has always been ex-soldiers mm. and politicians coming to power. Mm. You mm. know, so the question would really be, why not somebody with a private sector mentality? Mm. If there is anything we can point to that has worked in this country, despite mm. the unfriendly environment, working, uh, operating environment, it has been how the private sector has survived the tumultuous mm. economic uh, headwinds in this country. Mm. You know, they've managed to evolve every mm. time there is that something comes against them, they come up with a tool to survive. Mm. And they are showing up in serious indices across the world, mm. getting listed in Forbes list. And, and these guys have sit atop these kind of institutions mm. and galvanize, galvanize them. You cannot throw away mm whatever they have deployed to, 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 to drive these institutions. Mm. And it is on the merit of these achievements that they were drafted into public service and okay. they have continued to distinguish themselves even mm. into public service. And it's not just with the Mayfeli. Mm. Some of the names that, that resound with most of us and that people we got from the private sector mm. into government to drive reforms, mm. to drive initiative, Soludo is one of them, mm. Okonjo Wala mm -hmm. is another, yeah. the lady at the SEC who is now with the Columbia University is another, mm. and the name Efako, the lady at the Daily Trust, mm. it's another. And you know, they've, they've, they've initiated and driven reforms that have today, you know, mm. shifted the narrative of this country from what mm. it used to be. So uh, it, it's, it, it, it's um, quite clear now why people of my age we begin to say, since we can relate with what these people have done, mm. and they have had the cost to serve, you know, squarely around issues, mm. I mean, uh, driven initiative around the economy, maybe mm. it is time to, to give them a try. So, okay, that, 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 that's quite interesting, because he's, he's mentioned one important claim, that not just the, the CBN governor, but others like him, distinguish themselves first in their private sector uh, 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 positions, but also when they came into public service, so, meaning that the, the CBN governor included, right? Now, what he calls distinguish themselves in public service, you know, uh, the, in this administration, many Nigerians will call the worst government ever. How do you respond? What, what do you think about that? Well, you know, I still stand by my own uh, views about political office and how one comes into it. Mm. We are in a democracy where you have to be sponsored by a party. Mm. You have to carry the party flag. Mm. You have to be a member of the party um, and go through primaries to say mm. the opening uh, remarks. Yes. 
So, I, I don't want to be discussing uh, individuals in detail at this level. Okay. Because MFL, for example, mm. and uh, what he has said done mm. is not what you are assessing. Mm. He was assessing that he will score very highly. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. But uh, I don't think. Uh, you see, the concerns being expressed in this country mm. today about access to power. Mm. Some people say they are marginalized. Okay. Why are they saying so? Because there's no uh, discernible structure that gives, gives them opportunities. Hope mm. or opportunities. Mm. So I would rather um, allow people who think they can perform to emerge through the party process. Mm. Interesting. Rather than we sit uh, some group of friends. Mm. If you are a group of friends, you buy the party um, form for your friend to indicate that you want him to contest. Mm. Thank you. Uh, this is where we come to the midpoint of the program. Where when we return, we'll continue with our discussion on the possibility or not of the candidacy and aspirations or the purported aspirations of uh, CBN Governor Godwin Emefele. Stay with us. This is Trust TV, documenting the Nigerian story. Welcome back. If you are just joining us, this is Daily Politics on Trust TV. When we are talking about Godwin Mifele's rumored or purported uh, aspiration for the presidency of Nigeria, you can follow this discussion on all our social media handles on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and of course, uh, uh, Facebook as well. So uh, as we were saying, sir, the, 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 what the politician wants, wants is one thing but what the law allows mm -hmm. is another thing right so, exactly so what are the legal uh the, the the legal environment within which a candidate who is a serving cbn governor whose term is more or less probably does the most independent office in this country maybe even more independent than that of the president himself, mm -hmm. you know, and, 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 and so on. That so what does it mean legally and constitutionally for someone serving in that office, you know, being drafted into, in, 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 into a presidential race? Well, what applies to everybody applies to him. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is the, the time um, he has to leave what he's doing before joining the race. I think it's one month to the late or no way, mm. then about. So it's within time. Okay. Mm. Nothing, there's no constraints as I see, mm. except uh, political. Mm. Political in the sense that the party of his choice. Mm. Nigeria is not producing a two-party system. Mm. But you can see 
outside APC and PDP. Mm. It's no longer easy for anybody to have the clout mm. to monster and support and come out. Mm. We don't even have provision for independent candidates. Mm -hmm. So, they say he said, mm. if uh, my friend, uh, as I said earlier, it's more of a moral body that he needs to discharge. Okay. As a serving governor of the central body. If it's not to be misunderstood. Do you himself. think this has the potentials to distract his current job? No. No, he, he, he can't be doing this. Okay. Along with his uh, current job. Mm. He, he needs to abandon the job and face this. Mm. This is a very serious assignment anyway. Mm. <laughs> So they think that you can uh, do as part time, mm. you know. Sorry. He has to set himself with a party. Okay. Mm. Either coming through APC mm. or PDP. Mm. Okay, so uh, 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 the the group of friends that were talking about CBN, you know, trying to draft him in, 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 in into politics, and according to you. Uh, he's not too mindful or unmindful of being drafted either, you know, and, 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 and so on. Now, they are basing their argument on, you know, they pulled, put up uh, uh, a four-page or even five-page advert in several newspapers today, detailing. you know, but, but detailing some of the things. And part of this is his record. First, as uh, 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 the CEO of uh, Zenith the Bank, but then now, as CBN in the past um, seven, eight years, seven, eight years uh, uh, or so. So the t to what extent do you think records in general sell a candidate to Nigerian presidency? Mm -hmm. I think for a young man, uh, this is what excites me more. Mm -hmm. You know, rather than have mm -hmm. candidates whose records are not in the public domain, or we find very difficult to scrutinize. Mm. We have somebody who has been in the public eye for as many, for as long as mm. most of the young people can think about. Whether as um, as 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 the MD of Zenith Bank, as you had rightly identified, mm. or even as the central bank governor. Mm. Uh, most of what he has done are in the public domain. He doesn't even they don't even need to regurgitate mm. uh, some of this record. That is what makes it interesting for me. Especially, not necessarily about a Mayfeli, but especially the fact that it has the capacity to spot people with similar records, okay. to throw themselves in the ring. Mm. Because what we have observed Such over as... technocrats in, okay. in private practice who mm. have distinguished themselves, but see politics as being too mm. dirty. Vice President Yemi Osimbajo is one of them. Uh, Osimbajo mm. is one of them. And mm. if, if we continue to allow the, the, the apparatus of mm. uh, political parties to be controlled the way it has been from mm. 1999 to date, we will continue to rob some of our finance hands the opportunities to come into mm. public service, especially if they have proven track records mm. from their private practice. I think. Uh, that was what gave birth to the whole argument around independent candidature. It was to create a leeway for mm -hmm. people who we think have something to offer, but uh, the party as currently structured mm -hmm. makes it imp nearly impossible for them to even conceive the ideas and mm -hmm. go into all of that, trying to convince people that I could offer something. Mm -hmm. uh, to begin to think of uh, putting out themselves like that. So if the Mayfield thing happens, as we think it would, perhaps, mm. it will begin to spur interest. Not necessarily for the presidency, mm. but technocrats are like thinking about the governorship position, and mm. especially the parliament, mm. where we have sort of made mm. a retiring home mm. for, for ex-governors mm. and ministers, yeah. and, you mm. know, so that we can begin to see very serious debate for once, and mm. not just document coming in there, and mm. then in one first swoop, you pass first, second, and third reading, mm. and return the document without any major alteration or any serious arguments to weigh the pros and cons of this argument, making it look like we run uh, merely a one, a one uh, 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 platform kind of government where it appears the parliament mm -hmm. and the president has sort of agreed on something before they even pass the document. So mm -hmm. we, we need to start engaging some of our finest minds okay. and begin to encourage them to see politics as a, fort, as, as, as a place they would want to try their hands to change the narrative rather than sit outside and merely remain as experts we consult every time this policy and, and they offer opinions that the government really doesn't even take into account. Thank you. So, but, 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 the, the, the that, that, that means 
you, you, you now have, based on what he said, you, you have a situation that compares itself. You know, you have the CBN governor, for example, within the APC at least, you know, and uh, the vice president. First of all, both of them are undeclared Candidate. candidates or aspirants, you know, since that they have not declared. But as we said at the beginning, this is politics. Nobody gets to the, president, the position of vice president and is not thinking of the seat himself, you know. That, yeah. that, that, you, you, political affairs, that, that, that's clear. That's, that's one. Secondly, they both came from backgrounds that are similar, you mm -hmm. know, from the private sector, having done certain things that are outside, and then they came into government. Largely, they have shined, some people would say, in mm -hmm. quotes, within this government as well. The, the vice president has proven himself in certain circumstances to be quite capable of taking decisions, mm -hmm. you know, and he's done that quite excellently. More than that, he is probably the only or oh, one of very few deputies and vices that we have had in Nigerian politics that have not led to a sort of scandal between them and their principles as well. So all of this, you know, pitches him with uh, an MFLA within the same uh, uh, party. How do you see, and both of them are from the South, even if you go by zoning and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and so on. How do you see <clears throat> the contest appearing like, even hypothetically speaking? Well, as I said earlier, I think uh, for MFL, it's an accomplished technocrat. Mm. And he has achieved in his own right. Mm. And as you rightly said, was by the vice president. Mm. When he had the opportunity to, um, Act to be at the helm of affairs, mm. he decides credibly. credibly. Mm. Good. But the political game is a bit different. Mm -hmm. And a dream of representation. Mm. Okay? You cannot uh, uh, rightly say that um, Sibaijo fits neatly into the same okay. um, get us the description as a uh, mm. mafia. Okay. Because Sibaijo has been involved in governance on the state level, so the Attorney General of Lagos. Yeah, that's right. Mm. <laughs> and has been vice president. And so does that give him an age that he has more experience in governance and no, so no, on? No, no, it doesn't, go that, way. It doesn't okay. go that way. Okay. <clears throat> People even believe that um, there is um, a conflict between his own ambition and that of uh, Chief Chinubu. Okay. okay. Mm. He's SYL master, mm. so to say. But what people are saying is, People of our own persuasion mm. who believe in rotation, mm. giving hope to the weak, mm. not allowing the, uh, um, the fittest mm. always, in the interest of harmony in this country. Mm. We believe that it's not even the turn of Southwest to produce. You see, when you talk of North and South so loosely, mm. you are. You are you are creating a problem. Mm. So does that mean the turn of the southeast now? Because no. you have south-south <coughs> and south-west since 1999. Both of them have had a shot at it. Yeah. The, so if we're talking about the south, only the southeast have not had a shot at it since 1999. Yeah, right? So based look, on that argument, is that their turn now? No, you should look at the entire country. Okay. North East has not had a turn. Okay. North Central has not had a turn. Mm. And then southeast. Mm. One in the south, okay. and two in the north. Mm. And the way we worked it out in that rotation, mm. which tried to be fair to all parties, mm. the present turn is for northeast. Okay. After northeast, it will be southeast. Okay, interesting. And uh, north central mm. is to come last. Interesting. In the rotation. Mm. The luck no central has is that, by the grace of God, the three former presidents or head of, heads of state mm. from no central are still alive. Mm. They are influencing they were soldiers. policy mm. up to now. Okay. They are members of the National Council of State. Mm. So it is proper for no central to take the last one. Interesting. So it's not fair to think that. Everybody knows that Southeast is there. Mm. 
But if you look at it, think of the North as comprising three geopolitical zones. Mm. North East, North Central, and North West. Mm. That's okay. That, yeah. that, that argument is clear. Now, uh, I said the, 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 in news reports, there are these claims in news reports that those who want to draft MFLA are actually very close to the President Muhammadu Buhari. And President Muhammadu Buhari, in his latest public uh, interviews, he said he's no. not interested in who so succeeds him. But then again, he also said that he's not going to name his preferred candidate because he, he doesn't want him taken out. Is MFLA the preferred candidate? Is he the anointed one? <laughs> That, that would be difficult to, to say right now for yeah. a number of reasons. One of them you alluded to in your previous comment where you said he's mm. one of the subordinates that seem to have had a cordial relationship with his principal. Mm. And we think that is something that we can't, I mean, it will count for something when the time comes, mm. right? Um, but the body language of the presidency with certain things that had been done by Mifele also suggests mm. something different, you know. Uh, from news reporting, as you have rightly mentioned, mm. the president seemed to have taken peculiar interest in the initiatives of the central bank, especially when it comes to development financing, where mm. he had done the, agri uh, the, the rice pyramid, where he had done uh, the Anchor Borrower Program in mm. Kebbi, uh, the Wheat Program and all of that. Mm. Because the president has always been taken to agriculture, mm. uh, you know, as something he likes to pursue, the whole concept of the country being able to feed itself, mm. you know, to attain food security is at the core of his presidency. He mm. said that from day one. And it, it appears that it is a monetary institution mm. that has been able to vitalize those statements rather than a ministry of agriculture. Mm. Some uh, will say that's usurpation of power, that you are usurping the powers of these ministries that are supposed to be doing that rather than doing something good. That would sound like an interesting argument if that is all that we can do. Okay. He has taken the initiative in rise. What has stopped mm. the fiscal authorities from maybe doing something in cassava mm. or maybe doing something in yam and the rest. So, so uh, the field is very broad as, as we say in some religious parlance, the, the harvest is, is mm. huge but the laborers are few. Mm. He has taken to something and he has dedicated himself to it. Mm. There's quite a number of other, I mean, we saw a minister of agri who came in and is renowned for the cassava bread. Mm. And there is quite a number of other things that we could and do. Just remembered for that. But you mm. know, so. Thank you. So, b b b b b Mr. Audu, you, you have been mentioning uh, not East, not East, mm. as the. the Next. Like so, rotation. who is there in the North East that you are thinking of? I'm sure Nigerians will by now be asking themselves that question. Well, well if I have to say. Yes. I will. I will uh, refer to a statement made by a close friend recently. Mm. Um, two retired federal permanent secretaries and I, with this gentleman, was principal of King's College, Lagos. Mm. He said, Look, mm. of all the people that are coming up to say they want to be president, want to be president. He said only one person was prepared for governor. And he did not hesitate. He mentioned Atikwa Baka. Mm. He said he was the only one prepared mm. to assume the responsibilities of governor. Mm. That after Buhari, mm. he, he felt that Atiku would be able to hold it for and uh, that tallies with my own view mm. of that rotation mm. that Northeast is next in line. Mm. And Southeast mm. should wait. Mm. Because by the time Northeast takes it, there will be only one more zone in the North left, mm. North Central. And there will be only one But I has been recently known as campaigning against zoning recently well i mm. think how does that work out mm. <laughs> nobody will be against the uh, the zone is not for article anyway okay mm. it's for the region mm. not this region okay we are advocating the situation where mm. presidents will be less contentious okay mm. and the so structural arrangement that we, we, gives we, everybody uh, a hope. 
because we're quite short of time now. I have time left to, to okay. give him his last sure. slot, as, 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 as we agreed, uh, starting yeah. from here and, and, and ending here. So, but this is just about the, the, the final uh, 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 question that, that, that we have. If a Mayfile were to declare for the presidency tomorrow, what do you think would be his chances, given other very strong candidates in the race as well? Some already there, some undeclared, but also interested, you know. What do you think chances are, you know, because some are saying that he's not going to go anywhere. This is not a CBM boardroom meeting. I, I think what will be of interest to most of us are the cycle of those friends of Emefile, mm. which we have to unravel, and that would determine the extent to which this journey can go. Uh, because at the end of the day, even with all the other candidates, mm. They are waiting for some kind of endorsement. Okay. That is critical to how mm. others would key into all of that project. First mm. of all, he answers the question of a zoning to the other side. Mm. He answers, he checks the box for somebody with a knowledge of economy. He checks the box for age. Mm. You know, he also checks the box for somebody whose past is devoid of the, the, the sentiments that we mm. see around. Mm. And if you have mm. political capital to leverage on, on the other side, people, friends who can attest to some of the project he has driven that mm. has impacted, in fact, on the opposite side of um, where he comes from, I, mm. maybe that will begin to, to, to change how he is perceived mm. as somebody who may be not a regional president, mm. But by, a Nigerian by a Nigerian and somebody mm. who will speak to 60% uh, we, 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 of our population mm. who are around the age bracket where they think they want a candidate they can relate with. Thank you. In, interesting. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Usman Audu, for Thank coming you, on Dilema. the show. It's, it's been nice pleasure, uh, having you. Program. Thank you very much, uh, Sunday Mike and Ogu. I'm sure uh, if uh, MFLA were looking for a <laughs> spokesperson, he wouldn't have found a better man <laughs> than yourself. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, also, viewers, Thank for you. staying with us uh, uh, through today's uh, program. This is where we draw a curtain, uh, the curtain for today's, and we hope that you'll be here with us tomorrow when we we'll bring you another. Uh, a package of the daily politics on Trust TV. I am Suleiman Suleiman. Bye bye.